Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about a free backup tool you could use to back up the files and folders on your computer. So it's called Perfect Backup. So like I said, this is the free version. They do have a pay for or pro version with extra features, which includes the ability to do system image backups and application data backups. So if you're into that, you could check out the pro version. All right, so if you're just looking for basic file and folder backups that you could schedule, to run in the background, uh, this might be the tool for you. All right, so it's a pretty simple interface. So here's the interface here, a new job. You could check the properties of an existing job and so on, which we'll go through when we set up a new job here. Uh, open a job. So if you have a job file located somewhere else, you could open it up in the app here. You could duplicate a job, rename it, remove it, run the backup, run the restore, check the history if you want. Check the logs for specific dates. And here are the options for the program. So you have it run at login. This is checked by default. I just unchecked it because I'm not going to run it at login since it's a test computer. But you could have it do that in case you're scheduling jobs. Uh, run one job at a time, for example. Temp file location. How many logs to keep. Where they're going to be stored. Backup options such as deleting a previous backup job if it was canceled. I think it even set some filters, so it has a bunch of uh, default filters here, the things that it's going to exclude here. You could also have it skip hidden and system files and skip locked or in-use files. You could even set up email notifications and then some proxy settings, which nobody probably uses. All right, so here is the pictures job that I set up before. So I could run it again if I want, or restore it, or edit it, and then run it. All right, so we're going to do a new job for our documents. So file and folder backup, since that's our only option for the free version. Call this documents backup. All right, then you could click on home here. We'll show you your default Windows folders. You could do stuff for OneDrive, uh, network folders. Or actually browse to specific folders here but since I'm doing documents I'm just going to pick the shortcut here I'm not going to apply any filters so I'm going to click on next all right so where am I going to save it I have a backup drive here so let's go there here's my pictures backup so I'm going to make a new folder here for documents backup And you have options here for network, FTP, and cloud. So let's click on each one there just to see what they look like. UNC path, name and password, FTP information, and then for cloud, you have Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive. All right, so now when it comes to your backup types, you could do an incremental. Obviously, it's going to do a full backup first but you could do an incremental backup after that, which will back up the changed file since the last backup. Or you could do a differential, which will back up the file since the last full backup. And then you could just do all full backups all the time if you want. And then there's the mirror option, but this is a pro feature. So you can't do that unless you pay for it. All right, so we're gonna stick with the incremental. That's the default here. Then you could have it remove old copies before starting a new backup. And then there's some options here to do a full backup in case if the following number of incremental copies is done. You could change this number. Or if the size of the incremental exceeds the following percentage of the full backup. So we're just going to leave the defaults. All right, then you could zip it up to save space if you want. Now here's where you could schedule it. So you could do days of the week, days of the month. And then if you click on timetable, so let's do this for example here. You could enter the time for what times you have it run on what days here. We're just going to do a one time backup here. So if you don't want to do a schedule, you could just leave that blank and then click on save here. There's also save and run. Let's we'll click on save. So now we have this in our list here. So this is never started. So we're going to go ahead and do a backup here. Let's find that folder here. So this is where it's going. 
All right, so let's back it up. All right, so the job is complete. All right, so it has this job file here in the folder. And here's our full backup. Just like that. If I go to pictures, you can see I have one full and two incrementals. All right, so let's look at the log for this. So we can see how many files it has backed up. 90 copies, 92 megabytes. So now, let's go into Documents. We're going to add a new folder here. And we'll add a couple of files here. And now since it's set to run incremental by default, if we click on Backup again, it'll do an incremental backup. Alright, so that was a lot quicker. Let's check out the log for this. So it only copied four files this time because of just those files that I added to it. Alright, so now let's say we want to restore. You just pick your job, click on Restore. Tell it where you want it to go. So you could browse to the same location where the original files were or you could put it somewhere else. So I'm going to put a new folder on the desktop here. Just for somewhere else to put it. Now you can choose which one you want to restore, the full or the incremental. So if we do the full, it'll restore everything. Let's see what happens if we do just the incremental to that folder. Okay, you can see it did everything and included this PDF files folder plus those two other individual files that I added to the backup. So if we were to just do that full one, then it would have restored all of those files and folders except those ones that we recently added to that incremental backup there. And on the side here we have you know running jobs, canceled jobs, warnings, errors, you can see your schedule and so on. And that's about it. Alright, so if we go to their website here, the license right now is a special price of $39. So if you wanted all the extra features, uh, it's a pretty good deal to back up your computer. So hopefully you are using some kind of backup to save your files and folders in case something you know crashes and you lose your information. You don't want to be stuck without your files. Alright, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download a perfect backup and then you can try it out for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.